You want to walk in prosperity, I will tell you hard facts. You know, I don't, I don't like preaching it because I don't want to abuse it. It is in the Bible, but most of what is preached that is called prosperity is not balanced. You don't want to calm down. Calm down. Let's go into Bible study. You will find that most of what is preached is half-baked. It will lead you astray. It will make mammon your God. I have prospered by the hand of God. I, you, you are witnesses that I, I was in the oil industry before and I retired in 2020. My life is 10 times better than what it was in the oil industry. Meanwhile, when we started that job, we couldn't imagine anything greater than it. We just felt, hey! In fact, hallelujah. Are you there? Oh my God. One day I was talking with my colleagues. I said, I know one day God will come to me and ask me to resign so that I can do full-time ministry. Somebody just called me, said, come. <laughs> my God just called, he, he heard it, he called me, he said, he said, sit down, pastor, sit down. So I sat down. Then he said, this job that you are doing, how many people from your local government have this job? He said, Justin. I said, I'm the only one. He said, okay. How many people from your state have this job? I said, we are, Three, me and two others. That means, imagine the whole of zone A, one. Huh? He said, if I want to resign, I should go to zone A, or all the people in my zone, and tell them that I have one job, eh, that is only me that has in the entire political, <laughs> the whole political district, and tell them that I want to leave. <laughs> when he said that, fear gripped me, and I told God, Kai, this <laughs> This is the reality of this matter. But you know what? Before the time to leave came, God had removed the job from my heart. So it was a, 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 an easy thing for me to do. I'd proven God much more, in, and I could trust him. Ah, he, he had done some strange things. So when he said I should leave, I, in fact, the job was a burden. It was like sickness. So when he said leave, I said, hey, I, I resigned and came out. When I came out, God showed me that the job was nothing. And I was privileged to go to the bank in Abuja, one of those banks in Abuja. I saw one of my colleagues. Ah, that was when I knew that God had helped me. Hmm. You see, we were following God. We didn't know that. We, we don't know what is happening outside. We, Tony, you have to give people, everybody a break. Eh? Like some... 18th of December, shut down. Let them go around town and find out. Most of you don't know what is happening. <laughs> Jesus. I saw my colleague. Ah. Anything you are experiencing now is not the best God can do. I went to preach in Lagos. And a businessman just cleared his car from the port. The car still had, uh, you know, when you buy a new car, it has, the seats are in leather bags. Everything is in leather bags. The car had leather bags. Chief Don, can you relate with what I'm talking about? So, he now said, since I'm around, let them use that, his car, to carry me around in Lagos. So we wanted to take a flight. The man took us to the airport. Police people saw us and they just saluted like that. Because they, there was no, they, among all the cars that passed there, no, there was no car like that. They just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. So when we now opened the door of the car, they saw that the, the leather bags were still there. Ah, the hand remained up. It was an international flight, so we went and traveled. By the time we were coming back from that trip, God had visited that man and told him that that car belongs to that pastor. That's my white car that you are seeing. That's the story of that white car. (laughs) 
Nobody in my office has it. That's, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Nobody. In that my oil, oil industry, if you have that car, including the number one man in the estate, if the man has the car, he stole the money. In fact, I kept the car for one month. I didn't drive it because I was expecting him to call me and say, it was manipulation. They, he's not sure of the voice that, that, that spoke. So I don't want to start enjoying it. Then the call will come and say, hey! it will be a very emotional situation. So I kept it for one month. After one month, when I wanted to drive it, I called him. I said, Oga, I'm driving that your car. He said, ah! That, he has even forgotten about you. I said, yeah. <laughs> that I should stop calling him about that guy. He has forgotten about you. What? So I knew indeed God had moved on his heart to release that gift into my life. And I don't need to tell you that I'm the only one that has it in Makodi. You know, I don't need to tell you that. In the wilderness, in the desert. Is this, is this not the Makodi that they say nothing good comes out of? I am not, that parable is not true in my life. It's not true. Somebody was coming in from one country and he said, Pastor, name anything you want so that I can bring for you. Really, I didn't have any need. What do you want? I checked. There was nothing. In the market that they say, see, let us operate with principles. In three years' time, you will thank me. This thing I'm preaching, you will come to my office and say, thank you. I have proven what I'm teaching you. I've left the realm of accursed things. I am a consecrated being, my coins and my life are his. And God will never ask you to sow a seed, to support somebody if the harvest is not in view. I have seen it again and again. Sometimes he will ask me to sow an amount in the morning and then in the evening, someone will sow the same amount into my life. He did that for a long time, so I now got the gist that what you give does not really live your life. Huh? And that in the kingdom, the way he runs the kingdom is that he walks through the liberal people. The man that is willing to give, you will discover that he, he will be the man that will always be given. Because he will always be having. For the Bible says that a liberal soul shall be made fat. And he that watereth shall himself be water. The man that is stretching his faith to give will be the man that will always be having. And so everybody will, still, will be resorting to him for giving instead of them to desire. Okay, um, how? There's another plane of life. It begins with recognizing the accursed things, and operating in the principle of honor. Did you get that? Please don't forget. If you forget everything, don't forget 